Welcome back to our truck camper renovation series. In this episode, we're going to drive all the way to Maryland, Wisconsin, which is about, I think, 11 hour drive or something like that. We're taking the B and uh, we're going there to get super single tires. We need new tires. The ones we have don't have the load rating capacity that we need. There's really no option for better tires on the wheels that we have because we have 24 inch wheels. So we're going to go down to 20 inch super singles and um, we're going to, this is the first big trip in the B, hoping mm -hmm. it all goes well. Our tires are not in the best of shape. They're uh, pretty cracking, but they hold air fine. They have, you know, good weather checking all around, four of them or like that two of them aren't bad so we're gonna hope for the best we're not gonna go too fast and uh <laughs> we got six so we should we can make it there on four so no off-roading this trip yeah yeah so uh come along on this adventure and we'll see what we find We're going away yeah. and get your back, check the tag, decision is made. We're here at Stazworks in Maryland, Wisconsin. We've come all the way here to upgrade our wheels to nice 41 inch super singles on custom wheels that John makes here at Stazworks. So follow along in this video. We're gonna go over all the details as to why we did this upgrade. And John's gonna explain all the ins and outs of super singles. six thousandths of an inch which you guys will never ever feel but we still mark it on the tire okay. so when we put them on the truck we put the high spot up that way if there's any slop where they made up on the hub 
it'll drop down so the high spot will come down and take up whatever little bit of slot there is. This tire here, you can kind of see, like here, this is this part was never even cut. So this just kind of goes to show like how much we took off the tire. Like here, you can see this is original. It just kind of is more or less to show that, hey, we didn't take any more than we needed to, even to the point where it just barely kind of skipped over this part where, where it was original. Um, I don't see any other marks, but a lot of times in the middle of the tread, you'll see it where maybe part of a lug, you'll skip over it. Just kind of just to show that we, hey, we didn't take any more than we had to. He was saying these tires are mainly for military applications, so they really don't care, I guess, how perfectly round they are. Oh, I see. Don't complain too much about it. Right. So is it, is this a machine specifically designed for doing this? Yeah. Um, on this side? I mean, this side's for our F550 pattern, this side's for your 8 on 275 pattern. The tire will spin, and then this here will shave okay. it off. So that blade will spin, yeah. and yeah. true it up. The width difference. Mm -hmm. I mean, but notice how how sucked in this is. Oh yeah, it's that rim's too, kind of too narrow for that yeah, tire. Yeah, that probably that leads be... to more cracking on the edge, maybe too. Right. By rights, these two tires are the same width, but yeah. I mean, we're two inches different. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure this isn't helping. This. No, it's really curved it stretching in. Stretching right? it in, yeah. Yeah. And then height wise, this is considered what? That's a 37. 37. And what are these now? Are they 41? 41. Okay, yeah. that's what I've been saying. 41, but I wasn't sure if I was right. So yeah, that's about it. Yeah, perfect. Ride wise, in my mind, like this is all the way I'm thinking, but you can probably correct me on the way I'm thinking maybe. Okay. But because this has is a taller tire on a smaller rim, I'm thinking it's gonna ride a little better. But oh, for it sure. is a stronger yeah, tire too though, right? Because your section height, this is right here. Oh that's, yeah, there's that's a lot more rubber. Cushion. You'll probably be able to run lower air pressure, which is going to help a lot. But this has like double the weight capacity of what, like that's yeah. only 3,000 pounds weight capacity. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, that's 64. It's over six. Yep. So like, it's a stiffer tire. Right. And because this is sucked in, your like lateral stability is going to be a lot different. Oh, so you, you think we'll gain stability yeah. with these? Because I mean, this is kind of, just because it's sucked in, it's so bulged. It, um, I think you're you're going to okay. see some improvement there. Yeah, I'm hoping there, to see a little bit of more cushion in the ride. For sure. That's one thing I'm really bigger hoping Bigger tires for. take less pressure to hold, do the same work. Now, how, what pressure should you run these at? Like say no question. load in the truck. I'll tell you how to figure it out. Yeah. Do you know those little infrared heat guns? Okay. The middle of your tire and the side of your tire should all be about the same temperature. So because you're going on a long drive, get one of those heat guns if you don't have one, like 30 bucks yeah, or whatever. I have one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, after about an hour of driving, your tire's up about as, as warm as it's really going to get. Stop, check the middle pressure, and check the outside. If the middle is hotter than the outside, Less you're running too in. much. Yeah. If the ho outside's hotter than the middle, put a bit in. Yep, put a little more in. Well, that's simple. And it's going to change with how much load. And, and these are max 110 or something yeah, like that? Um, honestly, I don't remember right now because nobody runs them at that. Right. I would probably yeah. start out at 60 pounds. Okay, because these are only max 65. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would, I mean, even 50 pounds Which we could start at. With 60 in these, they're not bulging out by any means. So okay. I would think this is a stiffer tire. Well, yeah. yeah. And again, more air volume. Think of a hydraulic cylinder. Mm -hmm. you, you have a bigger cylinder, you have to put less pressure in it to do the same job. So that's, the, yeah, that's the relation. Okay. Um, these are a Toyo Open Country MT. So they're a yeah. mud terrain. This is a pretty aggressive tire too. Noise wise. Do you, how do these run on the road? Like it's an opinion. I can't tell yeah, you. Yeah. Um, I ran them. I thought they were, I thought they were reasonable. Um, like I think the quieter. Continentals are pretty noisy. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of why I was more leaning we towards just these. just did Continentals, took off the guy's Continentals, put these on on Monday, end of last week, I guess it was. But um, he said it was a lot quieter, but he did still, you could still hear them. Yeah, like these hum along pretty good. I'm hoping these are a little quieter, but that doesn't really matter that much. Airing down, like if you like one of the one goals I'm looking for is flotation mm -hmm. if we're going out on the beaches in Baja camping and stuff, which you know, if you got the standard 22.5s and stuff, you can't really air those no. down. They don't have the bead. Yeah, component. they got the tapered bead yeah, seat, that so 15 degree that's taper. That's a no-go. And these things, well, yeah. These and we these should have about, about the those. same bead seat. Yeah, so these have a regular bead that'll hold at lower pressure. Yes. But I mean, it's I mean, you're not going to air degrees. down like you would a Jeep or something. But what do you think? Would you like... How low can what you go be the before bottom, you, you think? Like 30 you pounds or... 20. 20? Mm -hmm. Depends how you're driving, of Yeah, course, I mean, if right. you got... 
6,000 pounds of camper on the back that might change, but at 20 pounds, drive nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, like if you're just going out on the beach and back yeah, or whatever. If you're slamming yeah. into berms and stuff, you might want to be a little higher. But. Yeah. Weight capacity, well, that's obvious. This yep. is like over double the weight capacity of one of these. And really in the back, we're actually gaining a little bit, even though we only have one where there was two. Is that what it was? I didn't even look at it. Because the these are only 3,000 pounds. This you said was 64. Four. Yep. So really very close in the back. Yep. The weight capacity and way more in the front. So that's, that's a plus is the weight capacity. Weight, how do you think those compare? We got a scale. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we should get that. Obviously a way heavier tire. Yeah. yeah. But, but you're ditching two tires, so... Well, I'm kind of I'm, thinking in the front, this might be a little bit heavier, but in the back, I'm going to be considerably lighter. Like I said, we got a scale. Be good, time, good time to figure it out. My guess is the new ones are 15 pounds heavier. It's lots of rubber there. This is, I bet, I'm going to guess around 200 pounds. Holy sh Well, that's a pretty good that's guess. That's a pretty good guess. 199.74. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm gonna guess here about one... This has mud on it. 140. 140? Whoa, you think it's that much lighter? Yep. I okay. said 185. Okay. Okay. It looks so tiny. <laughs> I don't know if it'll balance Whoa, Whoa you're right. Holy. 142.55. Manual is higher. So we gained a little guessing. weight in the front. Yep. But what's the oh, math shit. on that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're gonna get good mileage. Those tires go on their own. No, you, you pick that up. I'm, I'm like, like super impressed, girl. Go. There you go. Oh. Well, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> So, what do you got? 140, that's uh, 280 on the front. 200. Um, so, 55 pounds. Only over there. So, we gained 110 in the front. 560 on the rear. A bunch in the back. Right? Yeah. 560 on the rear, and we're going to be at 400 now. So, you lost 160 pounds on the rear. And we gained almost 100 on the And you gained 120 on the front. 120 on the front. So we're almost Yeah, we're getting. We lost a hundred pounds. No, you lost forty pounds. Forty pounds. Okay. They say um, rotating weight is worth seven, seven times pounds. That. Yeah. Seven times static weight. Yeah. So any weight savings is great. Yep. Yeah. And you're gonna notice that more in the rear when you're actually accelerating. Yeah. True. Yeah. But the in, the internal balancing. I don't think we talked about that. That part we didn't talk. Okay. About. Yeah. Cole, do you have any tires with uh, patch weights in them? So we can take a look at them at least, show you what it's all about. That's all it is, right there in the bottom. They're just weighted tire patches. You glue them in like you would any old tire patch, but um, so it's you just a lot more involved. So you them. spin it up on the balancer. Yeah, so we got our test rims. Um, and have, how do you know where to put it <clears throat> inside the tire, like side to side? <laughs> this machine will show you where to put the patches in them. So, so just I, like just like a regular balancer will tell you where to put the weights, yeah, this will tell you where to put the tire patches. Now, really? tire patches take about half the weight as a sticky weights on the rim. So oh, if you need if yeah. you need five ounces on the rim, you need two and a half on the tire. And will that actually tell you that? Well, or you have we, to calculate that? No, it'll tell us how much patch weight to put in. Oh yeah, okay. Or if we change the settings, it'll tell us how much rim weight to put oh, in. Okay, so it has a setting for Yeah, there's the a setting. Oh, cool. So they have to spin the tire and then take it all apart. Oh yeah, right? it's And then put labor the patch center. in, then put it all back together and check it again. Yep, and then sometimes so, you do it again. Because so you it, could spend like an hour or more just balancing a tire? Uh, you could spend, it's often where we spend a day balancing a set of tires. A set of tires, yeah. yeah. I mean, I can imagine. it just, just takes a while. You need young guys that are in good shape. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> got one young guy. <laughs> and you're doing a fine job. Okay, shape. And you're doing a great. <laughs> Wow.
while he's doing that, I can show you what these, like, what the front forging actually started out for these things because it's massive. Okay, yeah. This is this is the rim that that started out as. Oh, okay. That's it. So that's that's like an M wrap wheel. This is an M wrap rim. Um, I don't remember the exact version, but M wraps. There's like eight or ten different versions of M wrap wheels. And there's this steel is one ones, of the most common and aluminum ones. ones, and this is a very undesirable one because it's got such a high offset. It would nobody really wants okay, it because it doesn't yeah, work for that thing. But yeah. because this is only ten inches between the beads, but when you take so I use just this half of the rim, and that's and then I make a new outer half, and that's it works well for your application. And do you machine that side at all? Yes. Yeah. This will get a little bit off of here, and then this whole bead will get made smaller because this is this is very excessive. Really? And then the whole in, the whole inside will get a pass taken on it. So it's it's really just raw material, but it so it gets machined in all kinds. And all is kinds there of any ways. kind of a bead lip? that you machine nope. in or it's just smooth, it's like, smooth that. like this and it still hold good yep yeah okay interesting now for or fortunately unfortunately the goodyears do fit loose compared to other tires like there is probably a hundred thousandths different in a goodyear compared to a michelin or a continental the goodyears are just a little bit big they run big and i don't know why they're just different than michelin and continental the fortunate thing is if you ever didn't want to rotate your tires it'd be the easiest one to take off okay yeah where you're not going to fight it with special tooling or slide hammer or anything getting it off there you will so you, that's another thing it off. so if you want to rotate front to back you're going to have to take the dismount tires them. all off the rims yep dismount yeah. them put figure out mark where you want them put them in that position remount it so if we want to rotate on the way back from baja we got to stop here just come for a visit. <laughs> you could i mean if you wanted to stop we would do it yeah. but you should only rotate I would probably swap your tires side to side every eight to 10,000 miles. Okay, side Just to side. Just swap them side to side. Yeah. That, that'll take care of most mm -hmm. of it. And then every 20,000 miles, 16, 20,000, swap them, probably dismount them and swap them front to back. Okay. Well, Where, we'll probably put 10 to 15 on this winter, I would yeah. think. I would think yeah. so. Yeah. So maybe swap them before, you're, or before you go anywhere else next summer. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. When we get back, yeah. yeah. Or stop here on the way back. If it was a Continental, you'd be rotating every two to three thousand miles. Really? Yep. They have horrible wear patterns. Goodyear's wear a lot more even, um, symmetrical. They last a lot longer. You'll get three to four times the mileage out of a Goodyear compared to a Continental. And you were saying like, you've seen people get like 60, 80,000 80, miles out of I the... I can show you an 80,000 mile tire. Yeah. That'd be All cool. right, let's take yeah. a look at that. And obviously this guy stayed on top of rotating yep. it and stuff like um, that. These tires did not run out good and he ran 80,000 miles on them. Really? This one, we checked it, 37,000s run out in, its condi in this condition. But Could have I mean, it did it pretty longer. good. Yeah, it's pretty even. Yeah, for the most part, this lasted pretty well. 80,000 miles, about 140,000 kilometers. I don't know, like, there's not many tires you're even going to get that on. Yeah, I mean, you can see the sidewalls are taking a hit, and he would off-road them. I mean, he would... And so that was a heavy truck. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they ran it empty a lot. I mean, he was chunking them out at times. Yeah. Yeah. I can show you what those forging start out as. That is your forging the way it starts out as super heavy just What's a one of those of way <laughs> i think they're like 115 something wow, like that there's a lot of aluminum yeah they're they're a chunk Okay, that's it. Oh, was it already that's ground? That's way better stance. So they got to grind the steering bar a little bit to clear these rims because they're might, wider. It might be in here. Yeah, you can see the clearance here if you want, but 
Don't get it's, that shirt dirty, John. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's this spot right here is where we got to do some grinding on it to get it to clear. Got just the touch we got to go in yet. You'll notice that we were doing some grinding in there to fit these wheels, which is only because we went with the 12 inch wide wheel. If you go with a 10 or 11 inch wide, it doesn't interfere with that steering arm, but with the 12 inch wide like we got, because we want that width, we just took a little bit of material off of that steering arm. Time to flip it around and do the back tires. Good <laughs> job. Big difference. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Any support is appreciated. And if you'd like to see some more current content and behind the scenes action, check us out on Patreon. Hey guys. Hello. So we're on our way homeward bound now. We uh, dropped into Staz Works yesterday and got our new tires and wheels. We actually showed up there almost a day early. <laughs> um, we ended up leaving home a little early and made good time coming down. Didn't have any flats on the way. Um, trip went smooth on the way down. We had an appointment for Wednesday morning, which is today. Yep. Uh, but we showed up there like one o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday and um, they just fit us in like that. Those guys are pretty awesome. Um, we're driving down an interstate right now that is, they're rough. Really <laughs> Hopefully this is okay. yeah, they're, we're not doing one of these. There's a, li lines in the pavement <laughs> and bridges are really bouncy. And there's these pavements are poured in sections and it's like on the way down, it was brutal. We were just like this all the way because our, the tires we had didn't have a lot of cushion in them, which I was hoping for a better ride with the super singles and they are wicked. Um, big shout out to John and the guys at Staz Works because they know what they're doing. Yeah. They shave the tires round. They have their way of balancing them. And um, you know, everything I was hoping for in improvement, it's all that and maybe a little bit more. The, uh, we're, we didn't go over, I think the fastest we went was 59 miles an hour on the way down because our tires were kind of sketchy and we could have had a blow out maybe, who knows. But um, we took it easy, but it shook us to death. Yeah. Um, we're just cruise control at 70 miles an hour now and it's just like, driving along super easy to drive the truck tracks straight you can let go of the steering wheel there's no jiggles other than the bumps in the road um it's awesome yeah it's a huge improvement so uh yeah like i say they fit us in there they got us done and uh Chris and john gave us a tour and told us all about the process and they were super uh, friendly and accommodating got us uh got us in, got the tires all changed over, and it was just an awesome experience. Yeah, and their tech, Cole, who uh, put all the tires on, took the old tires off, the new tires on, that man is a machine. Yeah, um, he worked his ass off. He sure did, yeah, yeah he was awesome. I helped a little bit, and I broke a sweat, so that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> the whole staff there was just really great, and the you know, they took a lot of time with us to explain the process of how the wheels were made. They gave us a great tour. We really appreciate them giving us uh, so much of their time. Um, but yeah, definitely a huge shout out to them. They were great. Yeah, if you're looking for some uh, super singles, they're the people to see, I think. They, they yeah. do a good job and, uh, you know, they know they got it figured out. Yeah. So. so we are, we stayed in uh, Eau Claire last night, which was just a little north of where Staz Works is. Um, so we could go out for dinner and stuff. And um, then we're just gonna beat her home today, probably. 
We are about 400 miles to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan to cross the border. And uh, I have one more thing to pick up while we're on the U.S. side, um, which is going to help improve the ride of the truck a little bit more. But I had it shipped from California to Sioux, Michigan. So we'll pick that up there and we'll show you guys what it is when we get there. Hey, mister. King Shocks. Look at that. That's a shock. HD King Shocks. So we're back from the US. We have our uh, HD King Shocks, which uh, I'm gonna put on this morning. We drove uh, about 700 miles back with the super single tires. It drove like way better. Um, we did get, you know, a little bit of a jiggle sometimes up around over 70 miles an hour, um, which we're not really gonna drive that fast that much, but, um, and it, it was, it seemed to get into the little bit of a jiggle sometimes and not others. So which would tell me it's not a wheel balance. If a wheel balance is an issue, then it's gonna do it all the time. So I think it's, you know, we get a little bit of a bounce because the shock, shocks aren't absorbing everything. So uh, hoping these make a big difference. Cut down a little bit of the steady movement as we're driving down the road. They uh, look like kick-ass shocks for sure. And uh, we'll get them on there and then we'll do a road test. Yeah, so when I'm talking about the jiggle here, I got one of the front shocks off. You can see what I, this is not a gas shock. It doesn't extend on its own. Where with these, I don't want to get them all dirty because they're so pretty, but you can see they're uh, strapped together. As soon as I cut the strap, this shock is going to go whoosh, full length. And I probably won't even be able to compress it by hand. It'll be under gas pressure and uh, I don't want to cut that strap until I have it in place and it can extend into the mounts. But this one, it, uh, I can move it back and forth by hand. And especially if I move it fast, look at this. I can move it like that, like there's no resistance. Like probably inch, inch and a half. Oh geez, even more sometimes. Look at that, almost two inches. I can move it instantly. So when I'm talking about that jiggle on the road, these aren't soaking up any of that. It's moving that inch or whatever. You know, we only have, I don't know, inch and a half of travel on the front of this thing till it hits the bump stops. It's using it all just driving down the road, jiggling around. So uh, I suspect these are gonna make a big difference. We'll see. So get these tightened up and then we're off for a test drive. So we got the new front shocks installed, the HD King shocks and uh, we're gonna see what happens. I don't really know how much it's gonna change. I'm kind of expecting to lose some jiggle. I don't know if it's gonna ride any different. You know, it's a stiff ride. I can't see it changing that, but maybe with the gas charge, it'll hold it up a little bit and give us a little bit more cushion. I don't know, kind of unknown. We'll see what we think. Not getting those jarring hits though. Oh, like that was way better. Yeah, I think it's very noticeable. Ready for the big whoops? <laughs> still big whoops, but those my are seat hardly way moved. better by us. Yeah, a lot of times my seat bottoms right there. I didn't there. bottom out. <laughs> I'd say that took away over half of oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Because I think it amplifies. It bounces up and comes down again, but now the shocks are soaking that up. Impressive, very impressive. What's the matter? I forget where we parked. Our vehicle's so hard to find. Can you see it? Oh, maybe that's it. 